starting to get flyable, set it up, fly. <sighs> Launching! Just keep checking the airspace. Ideal every 30 seconds, but if you've got close sights like this, you really want to be well aware of where everybody is. Consider who has to sort of give way and head out, all that type of stuff. Afternoon. Yeah, well the sun's disappeared, but at least the wind's picked up a wee bit. And clear. There's not much point going along the houses, there's not really much lift there. No, the houses. Yeah. Be better! Yeah, no, round the tree wasn't really worth the bother, so I just cut straight back. Not really into walking if I don't have to. <laughs> right. So let's see what sort of lift he gets there and when he turns and whether he's looked round and checked his airspace. Come on, check it. Look round. Still only see the red helmet. No pink face. So you should have done about three or four checks going along there. A bit wide on the turn. A bit upright in the harness as well, but not bad. Yeah, so cutting back in. But he's getting ready for his approach. Now, rather than landing short there, he'd actually be better along there. So let's see. Yep, better option. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Too much brakes, loads of trailing edge, loads of trailing edge on. Just ruining the glide. Yep, again there. And he's got to break that habit. Too much brakes. Keep hammering into him. Hmm? No. But you'll see the video and it'll be. No, you see. All the way there, you can see the trailing edge. The whole bit he's flying with brakes on, hammering into him, it's just ruining the glide. Hits a the thermal like that. Yeah. Despite the hours and despite a lot of his flying now being really good, I would still not sign him off because of stuff like that. Uh, plus he still needs more on the Met. He should be solid on that. But he's yeah, you know, he's definitely getting better, but Just working on that efficiency and the safety. Right. <sighs> Launching! 
Too much bricks. Remember, my peripheral vision can actually see right back to takeoff. So obviously, the camera doesn't get the, the whole thing. Same as when I looked round there to the left, I could see Ross at the bottom landing. So I'm putting in an earlier turn this time, not cut along. Spin round. Checks. Right, now, uh, I might glove up. I'm not sure I need a jacket, but uh, gloves would be a good idea. Pair of gloves on, maybe. Smoke drift along there. Going to frontal if we don't step. Right, that's better. Okay, let's recover that. Now, birds are getting soaring there. So. Look, see, side slip out. Let's see what's. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, set up left handed at the moment, that's fine. Not bothered about that. Right, step the wrong way, set her up. Keep checking the airspace. Oh, much warmer with the thin work gloves on. Yeah, it's feeling fairly nice. That is nice enough. Go for a play. One check.
and hand next to the hill, zero. Checking and clear. Okay, in that case, I'll be back. <laughs> Airspace, slow, slow, slow. Recheck. Launching! lower than you ideally want. Keep checking the airspace, see if there's enough scoop here. Uh, definitely less lift this time. Tip line, good six feet. Check, recheck the airspace, set her up. Definitely cut round the front of the quarry, well not quarry, of the, the cliffs, rather than cutting over the top on this one. Check the airspace, see if we get a scoop here, and reverse it. Keep the speed on. Okay, cut round the back. It bounces before it snags. And ready to bounce. And there's a bit more snagginess here, so I'm not going to let it go all the way down. Harness. Tiny bit less lift at the moment. Ah, something coming in. Launching. I should give more lift. Better. Much better. Not as good maybe as I've seen it. Much more workable. A less effort. Around the trees. Over the top path.
Remember when you step forward, hands forward, so these go off. Better. And drop it with the harness, not the brakes. Gives you a much cleaner, when you use the brakes, the tips will fold under. Launching! Play out front this time. Fly around the trees. Back out the scoop, keep the takeoff area clear. Feel the gust coming in there. So I'll go more conservative when I'm flying around the cliffs. Watch for the frontal Ross. Yep, there's the gust that I was talking about. Check the airspace. Other pilots in here, disturbed there, there. Alright, time to cut out front to the smoother air. Gears it down. Bring her 
around. Yeehaw! Some gust fronts coming in. Too easy, way too easy. But with that lock coming in, that's why I'm down. See the shape on the water, the wind's forming. So we're starting to get gust fronts. When you look across at the two boats towards the island, can you see there's nothing there? Better being down here, wishing you were up there. And up there, <laughs> pushing you down here. <laughs> well, Ross has only been blue wing. Ross has only been flying nine months. I'm still hammering into him, kind of keep checking the Met <laughs> and a few other things. <laughs> but he's bottoming out anyway. But now that is a major warning sign. Yeah, I mean it's probably going to be fine, but. A big, big changes there. Just so. like that. Oh yeah. I was flying, I'll switch off the ra uh, well, leave it on just now for a moment. I was flying one of our sea cliff sites. A couple of guys turned up and said, oh, it looks great, yeah, we'll get the wings out. And said, no, 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 give it at least 10 minutes. And I'm flying fast, I'm just talking to them in the car park. So no, I think it's got a switch. I did another two beats and my Kenyan, fl I was born in Kenya, the Kenyan flag sick me out, yo, real nice. Perfect wind, perfect wind, perfect wind, and then you see me coming along and just down, drop the wing. 30 seconds later, eight knots blowing straight out from the cliff. The wind just switched right round. And that was before there was wind turbines, so the, you know, I was reading the sky, just nope, something's happening. Uh, there are old pilots. Basically, the wind blows straight at you. Um, you can fly when there's no wind, but your wind is your refueling. As a glider, your fuel consumption, roughly speaking, is 200 feet per minute. So for every minute you're in the air, you're burning 200 feet of height. Now, if you had perfect conditions in a vertical cliff, yep. if you've got wind that's going up oh, yeah. at 200 feet a minute, about 3 miles an hour, it's like a kid in the shopping centre walking down the escalator. If they're walking down the up escalator at the same speed, they stay at the same height. So, bubble, ah, so of, bubble of air, for a, basically, either a, you blow the air up. Yeah, yeah. So when you've got a slope like this, clearly not all the wind is vertical, so no. a lot of it's horizontal. So what you need is the mix of wind, yep. that the vertical part is three. So if you have a relatively shallow slope, but yep. within your wind speed, a strong wind, then there's enough to refuel you. Yeah. But yeah, you can see that. Yeah, it's... I mean, before, it, well, I mean, I'd still fly in this, but would I fly here in this? Okay, why the question? Well, imagine we had 10 miles of countryside that way. I could kill myself. Am I causing any inconvenience to anybody? No, not really. You get it wrong here, houses, industrial areas, the ponds, the road, you know, somebody driving their kids to school. So, public sites, particularly where the downwind side of it, you know, you've got to really think about everybody else long before you think about yourself. I thought you were on buggies or something. Nah. <laughs> well, you check on YouTube in a day or two. Aye. I've got about 2,800 clips up on YouTube. Paraglide in Scotland, but for this one, just type in Dysart. Matter of fact, hi guys. <laughs> But watch what happens when I pop this up and you'll see just how windy this is now. I mean, is that... And that's not the whole wing out. <laughs> but I mean, there's enough there. 
So that this wing, albeit I've got some, what's called brakes, so I'm slowing it down a wee bit. So it's not quite true, but the wing flies forwards at 20 knots. That's 24 miles an hour. So at wing height there, that wind is probably currently 18 to 20. And up there, it's going to be a bit more. And you can see more gusts coming in. See the dark. So, yeah, this one's 21 years old. I like them. I've got nine of these, and I mean this particular model. <laughs> Bought this one last year with about 20 hours on it. Ah, anyway, but uh, as I say, I'll edit that together. You'll see it on YouTube. See, these were the lunatics we saw, lads. Uh, if you type, I'll give you a card, but if you type in paragliding in Scotland and add in Dysart, yeah, I'll, I've pretty well caught up. I mean, this is the 23rd day I've been flying this year. <laughs> so I've pretty well caught up with editing all the videos. Aye.